Kali Linux on Windows 10. It runs like an app, not even kidding. It's amazing. So in this video, I'll show you how we get WSL2 running, which is better than WSL1 because we're actually using a Linux kernel on Windows crazy. And I'll also show you how to get a GUI set up so you can actually remote into Kali and use stuff and it looks really cool. And I'll do this in under five minutes. Let's go. If you want to run WSL2, you'll need Windows 10. Home is fine. You'll need version 2004 and build blah, blah, blah or higher. How do you check that? Easy. Hit the Windows key, type in WinVer or W-I-N-V-E-R, hit enter, and it will tell you right here. Now me, I'm solid. You might not be. If you don't see this, update. Click your start button again, type in update, hit enter, You'll want to click check for updates and then whatever update you see, go for it. It might take a while, be patient, maybe a few restarts, but you'll eventually get there. Okay, now let's install WSL. We're going to go to the same start button here and type in PowerShell to open up Windows PowerShell. I want you to right click that and click run as administrator. I had these commands below. Go ahead and copy the first one and paste it right now and hit enter. Coffee break. You'll need to restart. Go ahead and do it. Hit Y and enter. Okay, when you're back up logged in, we got one more thing to do in PowerShell. Go back to our start menu, type in PowerShell, right click and run as administrator. We got two more commands. Go ahead and copy the first one now and hit enter. This is enabling the virtual machine feature. So far, so good. Let's keep going. Okay, the next command, go ahead and copy and paste and hit enter. And let's go ahead and restart our machine once more. Click the Windows button, power button and restart. We're almost there, but we do need to update the kernel package for WSL2. So we'll open up our web browser. I've got the link below. Go ahead and copy that link into your browser. And right here in the middle, it says, please download the latest blah, 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 kernel package. Click and click that and download that and run that. And go through the installation wizard, get going on that and finish. Okay, one more thing in PowerShell before we go crazy with Kali Linux. We'll go ahead and open up PowerShell again. Go to the start menu, type in PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. Again, copy and paste the command below. Just make sure that WSL2 is the default. And WSL2 is ready. Go ahead and just minimize that PowerShell window. Don't close it yet. And let's go back to our start menu and we'll type in store to get to the Windows store. And this is what's crazy. We can just install Kali Linux like a app. And I love that. So I'll search for Kali Linux in the search bar. There it is. I'm going to get it. And it's downloading. Coffee break. And it's ready. Now I could click launch here, but I don't want to. I want to just launch it from my start bar. So I'll type in Kali Linux and there it is, an app. Let's run it. It will install, ask you for username and password. Go ahead and do that. And if we cat our OS release, we are using Kali Linux. But Chuck, there's no GUI. There's no cool Kali Linux symbol. I can't see it. Let's fix that. Again, all commands are below. Let's get started. So I'll do a sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade dash y. This will update and upgrade everything. Go. Password, of course. And go. Coffee break. Done. Now we need a desktop environment. Next command, sudo apt install Kali desktop xfce. And we'll put a dash y at the end. Go. Now this will take a while. While that's installing, let's take a look at PowerShell real quick and verify that we're using WSL version 2. The command will be WSL dash dash list dash dash verbose. And there she is. Kali Linux is running version 2. And look, our xfce is ready to go. Well, almost. English is good. Let's do that. Whew, that took a while but let's uh, keep going. Now we'll install XRDP. We'll do sudo apt install XRDP. Done, and now we're going to start XRDP. So sudo service XRDP start. And it started, that's all we had to do. Now we can remote into this guy and we have Kali GUI. Let's check it out. First, we need our IP address. So let's do IP address and there it is. 172 blah, 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 right there. So let's go over to our start bar, type in remote desktop and there it is, remote desktop connection. Fingers crossed. Let's see if this works. I'm going to type in the IP address I just saw there. 172.27.183.200. So far, so good. Put in your login info. This is what you just set up when you install Kali. Click OK. Fingers crossed. Woo! Look at that. Yes, Kali Linux running on Windows. So weird. Can it be real? Let's try it. <laughs> Look at it. Now it's kind of bare bones. We don't have a lot of things going on. Let's install something. Let's install the harvester real quick. The harvester. What is that? Well, it's what I used in my Google hacking video showing you how you can find out information, gather information about companies or hacking targets. Done. Let's do something fun. Let's do the harvester. The domain we'll use is davidbomble.com. <laughs> Our source will be Google. Let's see what David's got. Found an email, found some subdomains. That's it. Kali on Windows. It's amazing. Don't forget to like this video. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about WSL2, check out David Bomble's playlist below or up here somewhere. I'll catch you guys later.